Hello everyone, this is Chris Spregel. Today we're going to talk about Apple's new on-device and server foundation model. Start with responsible AI. Apple has prioritized creating foundation models that are ethically sound and respect user privacy. The models are trained using differential privacy techniques, which typically adds enough noise during data processing to ensure that individual data points cannot be traced back to specific users. Additionally, Apple's approach incorporates federated learning, allowing models to learn from decentralized data without compromising privacy. This methodology not only enhances data security, but also aligns with Apple's commitment to responsible AI deployment. Let's move to the foundation model lifecycle as shown in this diagram. Apple's foundation models leverage vast datasets to pre-train large-scale neural networks. Utilizing techniques such as mass language modeling, MLM, and contrastive learning, these models gain a robust understanding of diverse contexts and semantics. The pre-training phase is crucial for establishing a strong base model that understands natural language, enabling the models to generalize effectively across various tasks. To train their models, Apple uses a large number of licensed datasets, as well as public data retrieved using their custom web crawler called AppleBot. AppleBot was initially used to power various search features of Spotlight, Siri, and Safari. AppleBot crawls sitemaps, RSS feeds, HTML, JavaScript, and images from public web servers. You can opt out of AppleBot crawler by disallowing the AppleBot user agent in your robots.txt file. Listed here are the public ifs of the AppleBot crawler. True to their commitment to user privacy, no private user data is used to train any of their foundation models. Additionally, they remove low quality content such as profanity. Apple's foundation models are trained using their AxeLearn framework, which was open sourced in 2023. It's built on JAX and XLA and optimized for both TPUs and GPUs using a combination of data parallel, tensor parallel, sequence parallel, and fully sharded data parallel distributed training strategies. The vocabulary size of the on-device foundation model is 49,000 token, while the vocabulary size of the server model is 100,000 tokens. After the model is trained, it moves into the post-training and tuning phase. Post-training involves fine-tuning the pre-trained models to adapt to specific tasks. Apple employs techniques like transfer learning and knowledge distillation to enhance the model's performance on specialized applications. This phase ensures that the models are not just theoretically powerful, but also practically effective in real-world scenarios. Apple uses a novel reinforcement learning fine-tuning algorithm that combines mirror descent policy optimization and a lead one-out advantage estimator. Optimization is a key focus area. Apple's foundation models are designed with efficiency in mind. Techniques such as layer normalization, adaptive learning rates, mixed precision, grouped query attention, and LoRa adapters are used to streamline computations and reduce latency. The models also incorporate pruning and weight sharing strategies to minimize their memory footprint, making them highly efficient for on-device processing. The interactive tool shown here is called Tau Araya. This is one of Apple's tools to visualize, compile, and simulate optimizations for different hardware devices. With tools like Tau Araya, Apple implemented a technique called low-bit palletization to optimize the memory, power, and performance trade-offs. The on-device model uses task-specific LoRa adapters that vary between 2 bits and 4 bits per weight to achieve the same accuracy as a model with full precision 32-bit weights. These LoRa adapters are hot-swappable in runtime and Apple has set up infrastructure to easily retrain these adapters when new training data is added to the pipeline. Evaluation is critical to the success of any AI model. Apple rigorously benchmarks their foundation models using metrics such as Blue, Rouge, and F1 scores for natural language tasks and accuracy, precision, and recall for classification tasks. Specifically for a summarization task, 750 prompt and response pairs are sampled for each type of summarization use case. This dataset represents a diverse set of production inputs and outputs stratified over varying content types and sizes. Here we see how Apple's on-device and server foundation models compare to similarly sized models from Databricks, Mistral AI, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI. These benchmarks compare human preference safety are shown here. Furthermore, the models undergo extensive testing under different deployment scenarios to ensure they meet high performance and reliability standards. Techniques like cross-validation and app testing are employed to validate model efficacy and stability. In conclusion, Apple's new foundation models represent a significant leap forward in machine learning technology. By integrating advanced techniques in responsible AI development, pre-training, post-training, optimization, model adaptation, and performance evaluation, Apple ensures these models are not only powerful, but also secure, private, and highly efficient. These innovations pave the way for a new era of intelligent applications, reinforcing Apple's leadership in the field of AI. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more Augie insights. See you next time.